there are a lot of really talented scientists, engineers, technicians down here who are working on the, the nation's space program. And, uh, and we're going through a transition. I mean, it's, 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 it is a difficult time. We all understand that transitions are difficult. And some of these workers that are very talented are, are going to be displaced. For them. Uh, they might not have jobs in the nation's space program, at least in the next couple of years. Um, so it's very important we have events like this to, to kind of connect the, our great, talented workforce that works for NASA and the, the nation's space program with different industries here in the Florida that are also growth industries. And there's a need for engineering talent, and that, that's what I think our, our KSC workforce, world-class technicians and engineers can help deliver, is that expertise that will help take clean energy to the next level where it really needs to be for us to be successful in scaling it and becoming you know, the, the world leaders in that technology because whoever leads sustainable energy is going to be a leader of the, of the world economy in the future. Uh, very important to the nascent future, energy is, you know, I don't have to, to say anything more than energy and people are like, you know, that's very important to this nation's future in terms of job creation and energy independence from foreign oil and that. And so to connect this incredibly talented workforce with folks who actually have the jobs out there and that I think it goes a long way to making sure that this talented workforce is, is utilized going forward. I think the future of the industry is bright and that's what we really need to do is we need to get everybody together figure out how we can move forward what we can move forward on and go ahead and just do it we can't wait for our politicians or others to catch up they'll get with the picture when they see it ha when they see us doing it and that's what we're doing we, we've had an, an advantage that uh, for a while we know that we've known that the shuttle program would be retiring we've had some time to really plan going forward connect the right groups and everything so that um, that leads to events like like this today um, you know I, I've been in the federal government 21 years and I've seen many transitions in many agencies and I would say with the uh, the help of the local community here, NASA itself and some of the other federal agencies like Office of Personnel Management, Department of Commerce, uh, we've been on this for a while. Um, in terms of transitions, this is probably one of the better ones I've seen in a long time. They're never they're never perfect, they're never pretty, it's very difficult for you know individual who's losing his or her job, but this is from what I've seen, this is one of the better efforts I've seen to helping folks transition through that environment. Because it, it is painful, right? I don't deny it. So I'm here to learn, and I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to be here and, and learn a lot about what the hard workforce is doing.